Hey everybody, it's Aubrey. Guess what time it is? Lip Factory time. My Lip Factory box and my Ipsy bag actually got here on the same day. Can you imagine what an exciting day that was? Because normally those are two very exciting days in this house. So it was a doubly exciting day for me. So let's get right into the box. So I opened it up and it says, welcome the fall, which I know I've told y'all before, fall is my favorite season. And so that just made me super happy to see that. Welcome the fall. And you open it and it tells you everything that is in there. It tells you the retail value of it all. Um, and then you pull out the little lip factory box, which is just so darn cute. I just love it. Oh, and then there was actually an extra little card in here because I guess they threw in another product that was not on the regular card. So we'll get to that. So when I open it up, the very first thing I find is um, Be Fine Food Skin Care Warming Clay Mask. And this is um, a like one time sample thing it feels like. Um, I gotta say, I got a Be Fine, it was like an oatmeal kind of, or some kind of um, like oatmeal and almond exfoliating cleanser from one of my subscription boxes. I'm not, I don't quite remember which one, but it was fabulous. I loved it. And I love a good mask. So I'm really excited about this. It says it contains cardamom, arnica, and pomegranate. So I'm super excited about this. And according to this, this card, it says an instant facial detox that heals your skin. It's self-warming formula, heats on contact as the natural clay works to purify and refine. Packed with powerful antioxidants, enzymes, and humectants, warming clay mask soothes as it infuses your skin with ingredients to nourish and protect, and the retail value is $2 because, like I said, it's a one-time use little sample. Okay, next up is just a sample of Alcone Makeoff, which is a makeup remover wipes, um, and it is feels like probably just one wipe in there um, and it's just a sample it's not even on the card so um, a, I think I've said it in my ipsy video but this is perfect for your little emergency makeup bag um, so that if you are having to travel if you are like me and you know sometimes go you know go to the ER and end up checked into the hospital and you have to tell somebody grab my emergency makeup bag these are great for removing your makeup you know there at the end of the day while you're there so there's that um this is what was on the little card that they added it is from jcat and it is a roll it up auto lip liner and it is in what color is it um doesn't tell me the color. Why doesn't it tell me the color? Okay, it's not telling me a color. Well, it should. But anyway, it's a roll it up lip liner. It says, um, you know, obtain more product without a sharpener. You don't need to sharpen this one because it just twists up. And you can see that. swatch right there on my hand it's still bothering me that I can't find the color on here um, but uh, it does say that it is cruelty free it's hypoallergenic lead free which I would hope so um, since we're putting it on our mouths um, <laughs> 
you know, maybe that's just me. <laughs> um, so, oh, there it is right there. It's burgundy. <laughs> it was on the barcode. You know, why wouldn't I look there? Um, so anyway, J JCAT Roll It Up Auto Lip Liner in burgundy. There's the swatch. And there is no need to use a sharpener on it because it is simply a twist up, as you can see. Twist it up as you need more. So, yay. The retail value on that is $249. Next up, we have a blush. And, yay. I love blushes. I have a lot of them. That makes it a little difficult to choose each day which one I'm going to use, but that's okay, right? A girl can never have too many, well, too much of anything, right? So, I think my boyfriend would probably disagree, but <laughs> that's okay. This is Palladio or Palladio Beauty Baked Blush. And this is in Berry. And you can see that the color name speaks for itself. And it is, oh, it's so silky and smooth. I can tell it's going to be very blendable. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, that looks like a really, really, really pretty color, especially for the fall. So. I am excited to use this. Um, the retail value on this is seven dollars. Um, and I will, and y'all know I'll have more a more extensive review of this on the blog later, um, most likely with pictures of the products on me. So um, next up, Michael Marcus, and it seems like. The past few months, every box I've gotten has had something from Michael Marcus in it. And this one has two things from Michael Marcus. So I'm excited. Um, this is a refillable eyeshadow compact. And the name of it is Trashy. So we shall see what that looks like. I'm a little scared. Well, ooh, it's pretty though. Especially for the fall. With the smoky eye look being on trend right now. Um, it's kind of a dark um, silvery gray. You can see that there. And okay, this says refillable eyeshadow compact, but the thing here says it's a cake eyeliner which is pretty cool it says dip the eyeliner brush in water place in product and line your eyes thick or thin once it dries it's indelible and does not flake smudge resistant heat and humidity resistant so it seems like you could use it as an eyeshadow or a liner which well technically you could do that with any eyeliner I mean eyeshadow right um, but the retail value on this is $20 because we all know Michael Marcus is not cheap. Next up, we have Michael Marcus lip gloss because, you know, we're talking lip factory here, right? So, on to the lippies. Michael Marcus lip gloss. And I don't know the color yet. Oh, oh my gosh. It's um, cranberry, and look how pretty that is. Look how perfect for the fall that is. Oh, wow. That is just gorgeous, and looks like it will go great with that lip liner from JCAT, right? I mean, am I right? Look at that. Look at that combination. That's gorgeous and that is a very full coverage lip gloss gorgeous 
and the retail value on that $22 $22 that's what I paid for the entire box and we're not even done yet last one from 29 cosmetics this is do grapeseed age protecting lip gloss now this has SPF 15 in it and the color is hang time Let's see oh another one that is gorgeous for the fall look at that one and I love 29 cosmetics I have some of their lipsticks that I've gotten from lip factory and they're every one of them absolutely gorgeous absolutely perfect formula oh wow this is so pretty now this is more sheer but so so pretty oh I'm loving these I love lip factory lip factory day is just a such an exciting day <laughs> Um, like I said, I'll have a more extensive review on the blog later, but, um, so for those of you who don't know, Lip Factory Inc. is $22 a month, and, um, I got one, two, three, four, five full-size products plus two samples in this month's box, um, and the retail value is... 20, 42, 66, I mean, the retail value is, was like 70 something dollars this month. So, yeah, and it, you easily, easily get your money's worth. And about every quarter, they focus on the lips. That's why it's the Lip Factory. Um, Usually they'll, you know, send you stuff for the whole face. Um, like they did this month, they sent, you know, the eyeshadow and the blush. Um, but about every quarter, like I said, they'll, they focus on just the lips. So my referral link or, well, the link to Lip Factory is down below along with my referral number. So if you want to check it out, get a box, try it, um, you know, just enter my referral number if you don't mind that'd be awesome and you know if you don't like it you can always cancel but I promise you'll like it if you like makeup especially if you like lippies like I do I'm a bit of a lippy junkie <laughs> but it's it's well worth it it's awesome lip factory you did it again you have oh I just these two alone are amazing and I mean I don't know how they do it I don't know how they do this in a $22 box but y'all are awesome anyway if you liked it like I said referral link down below. I'll have a more extensive review on the blog, hopefully with pictures of stuff on me. And I hope you liked seeing what I got. If you have already subscribed to Lip Factory, I'd love to hear your reaction to your box this month. Leave it in the comments. Check me out on Facebook. Leave me a comment there. Um, it, on Twitter, Instagram, all my links are down below. Find me, talk to me, let me know. I hope you liked it, and I hope y'all have a fantabulous day. Talk to y'all later.